Stan Jebelisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One, good vibrations at your service to talk about a form of balanced line that you may never have heard of. And it's not very common these days, but it's still just as good an idea as ever. It is a balanced line called a four-wire transmission line. And basically, if you look right down the line, a cross-section of it, it looks like four wires at the corners of a square with opposite pairs of wires connected to a balanced transmission line transmatch. For example, a PAL star balanced transmatch. So you would have these two wires connected together to one side of the balanced transmatch and these two wires connected together to the other side. We might call this side Y and this side X. Now normally in a balanced transmission line X and Y or Y and X would be the opposite wires in a ladder line or twin lead or window line. But what we have here basically is sort of like two two wire lines right up next to each other but reversed. You can think of it that way or you can think of it this way. The interesting thing about this, there are some characteristics that a wire like this, a four wire transmission line has. Now imagine that you put spacers that are shaped sort of like well plus signs or X's at intervals along this line just like you would place spacers in a ladder line so that you keep these wires running along sort of at the corners of a very long square prism as it were. Imagine or a square conduit you could think of it something like that. Imagine a line like this there are a couple of things that this line can do that a two-wire line can't. For one thing it has inherently better balance it radiates less now this is in comparison to a two wire ladder line and finally you can get a lower characteristic impedance than you can get with ladder line in practical dimensions. With ladder line the lowest characteristic impedance you can expect to get is about 250 ohms or thereabouts. But with this type of a line you might be able to get a characteristic impedance as low as about 150 ohms. Even with mostly air as the dielectric which ensures minimal loss. It's a little bit more expensive to make a line like this and it's a little more unwieldy. Another way that you can do this uh, instead of instead of using the um, cross braces like that, another way you can do this is to take a long tubular flexible length of say polyethylene or something like that with a circular cross section so this is what the cross section looks like and then you embed your wires in it it's a tubular transmission line similar to the two wire tubular line but it has four wires instead these are the X side of the transmatch these are the Y side so in the case if you connected this to an open dipole at the end at the feed point say both of these Y connectors or Y wires would go to one side of the dipole 
and both of these X wires would go to the other side. You can short out the X wires to each other and short out the Y wires to each other only at the ends of the line, that is the transmatch end and the load end. Otherwise, you do not want them shorted out any more than you would short out the wires of a ladder line. So that's the way that a four-wire transmission line basically works. You might want to try it if you have any need to have a characteristic impedance somewhere along the order of 150 ohms or so. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, saying 73 and so long for now.